Kirsten Gillibrand, towards the second half of night two of the first Democratic Party primary debate, she really started to shine and speak up. And she spoke about corruption in such an articulate way, an impressive way, that I wanted to spotlight it. The reason why the Trump tax cut had to be passed is because they had to pay back their donors. You heard it. They actually said those words. So the corruption in Washington is real. And it is something that makes every one of the plans we've heard about over the last several months impossible. And I have the most comprehensive approach to do it with clean elections, publicly fun elections. So we restore the power of our democracy into the hands of the voters, not into the Koch brothers. We were talking about issues. Imagine, we're in Florida, imagine the Parkland kids having as much power in our democracy Thank as you. the Koch brothers or the NRA. Thank imagine you, their Cobra. voices carrying farther and wider than Thank anyone else because Senator their Senator voice Senator is needed. Senator Gillibrand, I'm trying to get everybody president, in here. as president, it's the first thing Thank I'm going to do because nothing else is possible, whether I, it's education or health care or ending institutional Thank racism. you very much. So this is great. She's persuasive here. Everything she's saying is 100% on point. But here's the issue that I have with Kirsten Gillibrand. She's one of those candidates who she talks the talk, but she's not walking the walk. She talks about money and politics. And then one of her first acts as a presidential candidate was to go to a fundraiser that was thrown for her by the executive of a big pharma company, Sally Sussman of Pfizer. And her excuse, well, she's a friend and, uh, you know, she supports me because uh, I support LGBTQ rights. That's a poor excuse. If you know about how big of an issue money in politics is and you know how corrosive money is as a force in our democracy, why would you do that? Why would you do that? So it's odd to see her, of all people, talk this strongly and intelligently about the issue of money and politics. I would expect someone like Kamala Harris, who also I think is not a true progressive, however you want to interpret that, but you know she's a latecomer when it comes to issues like Medicare for All, but I'd expect her to really use this issue to her advantage. But what Kirsten Gillibrand has done is kind of carve out her own lane here, and I think the way she's pitching this is, look, corruption is... It's everywhere in the system. It's incredibly prevalent. So I proposed a bill that eliminates all corruption. Get money out of politics. So you don't have to worry about me doing these fundraisers, presumably, because we should worry about that. So, you know, she's saying the right things here. The problem is she just needs to talk the talk, right? And, uh, or, I, <laughs> let me rephrase that. She needs to walk the walk <laughs> and not just talk the talk. Oh, <laughs> Because she is, you know, she talks a good game. Um, now, the problem is, I don't think that people will be as perceptive as people who are as savvy as, you know, someone who would seek out a political podcast like this one. You're not going to know if you're just tuning in that she's not the real deal, that she attends these fundraisers with big pharma executives. You're just going to think, oh, that makes sense. I think there's too much money in politics. What she's saying makes sense to me. You won't know that she only recently stopped taking corporate PAC money. Doesn't say anything about these private fundraisers, um, attends them herself. So, you know, this is this is an issue. However, I still want to commend her because positive reinforcement is important. And I am a believer in giving credit where it's due. And even if we can't necessarily believe what she's saying, at least she's talking about this in a way that's correct. And in a way that ultimately will do what we want. We'll shift the Overton window to the left and get more people to talk about this policy or in this way and that matters girly mike fettuccine needs your support on patreon what a loser visit patreon.com slash humanist report to support the low ratings humanist report sad my views are much higher